Okay, so here's how TMAC looks when it's fully deployed and, and built out. It ba basically is a octagon, a semi-globe, that's the main part of it, a tray, and then a construction that's underneath that makes the tray uh, possible to slide and makes the globe possible to slide. So the, the whole, the whole uh, size is that the, the octagon is 240 centimeters width, the tray itself has one by one meter under underlit uh, skin area. And then the perimeter of the tray is 130 by 130, which, uh, which basically allows for uh, multitudes of uh, scanning uh, areas. But it's, you know, it, it pretty much allows for, uh, for a lot. In the end, the construction that's underneath is looking like this. So basically it's allowing the tray to move across these two uh, aluminum profiles and the semi-globe to move on the big ones. Just so that you know, the movement of semi-globe is more so for calibration. So once it's sl slid in and the machine is calibrated, it stays that way. So then only the tray is used to, is used to move up, in and out. Uh, the full, uh, the full uh, width of the whole thing uh, is basically like like right now, which is fully deployed. Uh, let me actually yeah, find this value. It's three hundred and seventy centimeters, and it loves tray to move one hundred and thirty centimeters in the globe to move around fifty centimeter uh, into. In terms of uh, a power, there is a system. Here's a control panel with one power cord. It goes actually to our power box. So this is the power box that we're using, and it goes, as you can see, to to the power itself. So so that's basically the only cable that goes into into TMAC. Uh, there is a turn on button over here. Uh, so when I turn it on, the display goes on, and you see the full thing is now is now ready. There is the perimeter lighting on, so we so we'll see what's inside. Uh, so that's that's the power. Uh, the the whole thing I know has been presented on a website uh, without the cover. Uh, the thing is that the cover is very important and is completely custom made. We'll see in a later video how it's made, and it's easy to take off because it's it's using velcros that are around the perimeter to basically make it stretch and make it work like this nicely. What what this loves is actually that even in a sun, sunny room like this one, where we're using it, that has plenty of light coming in, we have no trouble scanning. So you see there are a couple of fabrics back there. We're trying to scan all the time. And uh, once it's all clicked in and we snap with camera, it's absolutely pitch black unless unless we use TMAX system. And that's absolutely perfect. So the only, the only uh, way that the light can flow in is from underneath. There is eight centimeter gap in here, and then from the top. So on the top, there is the camera uh, in, in our spider holder, which is basically a traditional solid box holder. Uh, adapter to keep the camera steady, camera, which has a linear polarization filter on it. And then with one cable is actually connected uh, back to the workstation and to the operator. Uh, regarding the adapter, it actually, uh, uh, whatever camera you would be using and whatever shoe you would be using on, we're gonna get you manufactured a custom adapter to make your camera be perfectly centered. So uh, th this, this is how it looks from the, from the outside and, and its main key things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into its uh, panel a, a more. I'm gonna turn off the uh, turn away the, sh the shield to show you inner workings, everything that comes with it. Uh, but basically what I'd love to do right now is that I'm gonna put one big fabric in here, slide both things in, uh, and I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, when it's ready, like it is right now, operational, how then the operator proceeds and uh, uses software to focus, to capture, and to process samples, and then we'll go through the rest. 